Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about cosine similarity. What is cosine similarity? It is a matrix which is used to determine how similar the documents are irrespective of their size. Or we can say the matrix which is used to measure the similarity of two vectors. Let's see the cosine similarity formula. Suppose we have two vectors x and y. So the cosine similarity would be cos xy is equal to cos theta where theta is the angle between vector x and y. If theta is 0, both the vectors would overlap means both are the similar documents. If theta is 90, then both the vectors or documents are the dissimilar. In other form also, we can write cosine similarity is equal to x dot by upon magnitude of x multiply by magnitude of y. With the help of one example, we will calculate cosine similarity using both the formulas. How to find the dissimilarity metric? So to find the dissimilarity metric, you need to write 1 minus cos xy 1 my means 1 minus similarity matrix now let's calculate the cosine similarity between two documents i have taken two documents first document containing the text the best data science course second document containing the text data science is popular so let's calculate the cosine similarity between these, these two documents. So first we need to draw the matrix for both the documents for doc 1 and for doc 2. This is the matrix. Here we write words in the first column. So let's take all the words of both the documents. The T H E best B data science course These are the words of first document and let's write the words of second document data we have already written science already written is is, is missing so let's write is popular and popular now first calculate the matrix of doc one so first word is the here the so this is one so first word in the doc one is the second is the best so this is best third is data fourth is science fifth is course and this is is not present popular is not present in document one now let's calculate the metric for the document two data data yes one science yes one age age yes popular yes and rest other words are missing in document two so let's write zero now let's write the vector representation for both the documents doc one and doc two how we can write so this is how one comma one comma one one two three four five comma one comma one comma one and comma zero comma zero. So this is the vector representation for doc one. So let's write D one. 
let's write for d2 vector representation what is 0 0 0 comma 0 comma 1 comma 1 0 0 1 and 1 1 comma 1 so this is the vector representation for document 2 as per the formula the cosine similarity is x dot y magnitude of x multiplication magnitude of y where x is the doc 1 and y is the doc 2 so let's write both the vectors here both the vectors are 1 1 5 times 1 0 0 5 times 1 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 0 and 0 this is the document 1 d1 and document 2 is 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 comma 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this is document 2 now let's calculate x dot y what it would be we need to multiply corresponding term of each document with the addition for the first term 1 into 0 for the second term 1 into 0 for the third term 1 into 1 fourth term plus 1 into 1 fifth term 1 into 0 sixth term and seventh are 0 1 plus so how much it would come out 0 0 only 1 1 0 0 1 so apart from these two all are 0 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so the value of this is 2 so here is equal to 2 now let's calculate this magnitude of x so what would be the magnitude of x it would be you need to write square root like this 1 square plus square root square root of each term and plus in between so 1 square plus 1 square third fourth 1 square fifth 1 square sixth and seventh are 0 so 0 plus 0 so how much it would come out 1 1 1 1 1 5 and 0 so the so it would be 5 root 5 vector y how much it would come out 0 square plus 0 square plus 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 square plus 1 square plus 1 square so how much it would come out this is 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 4 4 root 4 let's put all these values in the formula so x dot y is 2 and this is un under root 5 cross under root 4 so how much 2y under root 20 it would be if we solve this it would come out 0 0.44721 so this is the cosine similarity value so the value is 0 0.44721 point so this is the cosine similarity of document 1 and document 2 we multiply this by 100 then it would come out 44 point seven approximately it's 44.7 percent both the documents are 44.7 percent similar 
if you, you want to calculate the dissimilarity matrix then you can minus this 1.44721 so this is how you can calculate the dissimilarity matrix now let's see this also cos theta cos theta and theta is the angle between both the vectors x and y so suppose this is the vector x and this is the vector y and this is the theta so if you know the theta suppose theta is 10 degree so what would be the co cosine similarity cos 10 degree you can calculate the value so if it is 0 means cos 0 cos 0 is 1 if it is 90 cos 90 is 0 if it is cos 0 means 1 means both the documents are 100 percent similar if it is 90 degree theta then documents are 0 percent similar this is how you can calculate the cosine similarity if the angle between vectors are known with the help of this also you can also calculate the theta i will leave this to you how to calculate write like this cos theta is equal to 0.44721 and you can find the theta from here so the answer i can tell you the answer it would come out 63.435 so this is the theta degree so you can find the theta if you know the cosine similarity few huge cases of cosine similarity first one is to find the similarity between documents which we have seen with the help of one example pose matching also pose matching involves comparing the poses containing key points of joint locations we can compare the Im images if they are if those are similar or not we can also create a recommendation engine to recommend the similar products movies shows books so these are the few important use cases of cosine similarity that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video